Well, when you call 911, sometimes the closest first responders are not the ones who will get that call. This can happen when 911 systems can't communicate across state lines. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escal shows us what lawmakers are doing to try and fix this issue. Well, Bershell and Dan, counties each have their own 911 dispatch center, and they don't all use the same computer platform to view available resources. This means dispatchers can't always see which crews are available in a neighboring county. One Indianapolis family worries it's causing deadly consequences. 30-year-old Matt West loved Christmas. Christmas started for him in November, for sure. That's what makes this time of year so hard for his parents, George and Beth. Sad. Lost. Lost. In 2019, Matt was getting ready for a friend's birthday party in Fishers. Everybody that did loved him. His parents learned he had collapsed. As they rushed to see him, they passed a Marion County firehouse on the way. And I just remember passing it and thanking God that it was so close. But George later learned that crew just over a mile away never got the call. Instead, dispatchers sent the closest available team in Fishers, more than three miles away. It was later discovered Matt had an undetected blood condition that caused a clot leading to cardiac arrest. He couldn't be revived. He would have gotten defibrillated sooner. You know, whether you know, that would have saved my son's life, I don't know. We'll never know the answer to that. Fisher's Fire Chief Steve Arusa says this response issue isn't new. This is a problem that isn't just in Indiana, it's nationwide. Arusa says Hamilton County and Marion County use different computer-aided dispatch systems, also known as CAD systems. That means dispatchers can't see what's available in the other county. I think that it's such a big problem that it's going to require teamwork. It's going to require the state legislatures, it's going to require counties and even municipalities to work together. Earlier this year, the state legislature asked the statewide 911 board to come up with solutions. The board's report had two recommendations require all dispatch centers to use the same software vendor or adopt technology that allows all counties to easily communicate with each other. Jeff Schemmer is the board's executive director and believes the latter idea is the most feasible. It's going to require additional funding as far as where the, the actual funding comes from. Uh, you know, that's left to be said and it's left up to the legislator to decide that. We do know it's going to be expensive. There's at least one feasible uh, solution, uh, perhaps more. State Senator Kyle Walker is leading efforts to introduce a bill this session. He says he believes his colleagues are willing to invest state dollars. And I think that we all have the same goal of, of wanting to make sure that the closest and most appropriate resources are dispatched to us or to our loved ones. George and Beth West say they want to see a solution that saves lives. And I'm not going to quit on this at all. I'm going to I'm going to follow it to the end till the, till they do the right thing. State Senator Walker tells me lawmakers are still working out estimates for how much a potential fix would cost and how much money the state may be able to provide. They're considering what a few other states have done as well to try to fix this issue. The new legislative session begins January 9th. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you so much.